geomorphers. The purpose of this video is to go over the concept of the topographic rule of V's. Now, when we look at topographic maps and we're trying to interpret the landscape and the geomorphology, we need to understand which direction the hills are sloping towards and we need to be able to interpret which way streams are flowing. So in this map that I've created here, grab my laser pointer, we've got a stream that flows across this map. And we need to know, is it flowing towards the southwest or is it flowing towards the northeast? It's got to be one of those two, right? And you should be able to remember this, but if, if you can't, you got to be able to explain it to yourself. The topographic contour lines, these lines of equal elevation, they always form a V that points in the upstream direction. So remember that. But if you can't remember that, you ought to be able to explain it to yourself. And to explain it to yourself, you need to remember these two very straightforward concepts here. The streams flow downhill always, right? Water flows downhill. And streams occupy the valleys. Streams flow at the bottoms of the valleys. And that's usually because the streams have actually eroded those valleys, right? So let's figure this out, OK? Let's try to figure out, explain to ourselves, this concept that these contour lines must be pointing in the uphill direction. But let's start with the idea that we don't know that yet. Let's get there. So if you're standing here at point A, and you trace this topographic contour line, which is at 200 meters elevation, take a little hike, and you just hike along the hillside there, staying at the same elevation. What you know is when you reach that stream there, you must still be at 200 meters. So at point B, the elevation there must be at 200 meters because it lies on the same topographic contour line as point A. So in other words, the stream here at point B is at 200 meters. So now we're getting somewhere. Now let's hike back to point A. If you were standing at point A and you're looking towards the stream, so you're looking in that direction, the stream must be at a lower elevation than you are because that stream occupies the valley. It's the bottom of the valley, right? So if you stood at point A and you dropped a soccer ball, it's going to roll downhill towards the stream, and it's going to end up right about here. And it will approximately follow that path of that red dashed arrow because the steepest gradient of hill slope will be perpendicular to the topographic contour lines. So what that means is, is that at point C, the elevation there must be lower than at point A. And remember, the elevation of point B is the same as point A. So therefore, the elevation of point C is lower than the elevation of point B. So if you're standing at point C looking uphill at point A, you're going to be looking uphill. Or if you're looking towards your buddy who you left at point B here, you're going to be looking upstream or uphill. So point B is at a higher elevation than point C. So therefore, these contour lines make a V that points in the upstream direction. Now we can also figure out what these elevations are. Remember, now that we know that our contour interval is 10 meters and that point Z is lower elevation than point A, then that means that the next contour intervals must be 190 meters and 180 meters respectively. So at point C, the elevation is approximately 175 to 177 meters meters, something like that, right? So we're a little bit below 180 meters here, and at point B we're at 200 meters. So that the stream is dropping 10, 20, maybe 25 or 24 meters between points B and C. Topographic Vs point uphill. 